welcome to the quarterfinals here in Indianapolis. Cedric Phillips, Patrick Sullivan bringing you Devin Kepke playing white red vehicles against Zach Voss playing Grixis Emerge. Looks like Kepke hood up in the zone. Kepke a wide, wide range of emotional states and expressions. Yeah. As you might have been able to tell from that ridiculous top eight photo. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what that is. A volatile personality. Indeed. A good person. Oh, for sure. But volatile. Looking to have some fun. To Both players should keep seven. Kepke with a Toolcraft Exemplar. Voss with an Evolving Wilds. Kepke has a mountain. He'll come across for just one. And the follow-up now is a veteran motorist. So, scry two. Looks like three when Inspector will go to the top, a land will go to the bottom. So that'll be Kepke's draw next turn, while Voss will sacrifice that Evolving Wilds, get a basic mountain, and we'll see what his second turn is able to bring. Very nice for Kepke here to start off with the, the highest power bottom end of his curve here. Very important this matchup for him to have the fastest start possible because his top end, not worth a whole lot here. Voss will draw. He'll play an island. And now here's the timepiece. It's a perpetual timepiece. It is. Constructed staple throughout the course of this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure for how much longer. Here is Thraven Inspector. A lot of players have commented how they've tried this and actually did not enjoy its inclusion in their deck. You see two mana, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Obviously, Voss is working with some graveyard synergies here, so mm -hmm. it is an enabler to be able to do that sort of thing. We'll, fi we'll find out how good it actually is. This is, a, this is a really classic two good deals. You get to mill yourself and also shuffle cards from graveyards into libraries. Mm -hmm. two, two good deals. Good deals yeah. This will be an attack for six. Take a draw step here, Will Voss. Yes, he's already down to 13. Kozlex return would be timely right now, that's for sure. Play a Spire Bluff for now. Simply pass the turn back. Kepke going to untap and sacrifice the clue. Draw a card. Now it's time to untap. Devin will draw. Keep in mind, no artifact on the battlefield now for the Toolcraft Exemplar. Here's three mana. Depala. I think there will be a response. Yep, there's Kozlek's return. Is there another follow-up? There is, another Toolcraft Exemplar. And I'll pass the turn back. Voss will mill himself two cards, Elder Deep Fiend and a Cathartic Reunion. Now he'll draw for the turn. A wretched Griff. It's a smoldering marsh and there's the battlefield untapped. And there's a Haunted Dead, gonna bring along a spirit with it. So far, so good here for Voss. Relatively high life total. Kozilek's return in the graveyard and now a four mana creature. Can enable some emerge shenanigans and something that can keep coming back. Declaration in Stone is going to put a stop to that. So there goes the Haunted. Had a clue on the way here for Zach. See if Kepke is looking to get a little aggressive here. It appears as though he is. Remember, that Toolcraft Exemplar is a two toughness creature. Follow up with the Veteran Motors, which is also a two toughness creature thanks to DePaula. Scry 2. Selfless Spirit and a Mountain. I think uh, Devin might have some interest in that Selfless Spirit. Yeah. Put that on top, pass the turn back. Timepiece, turn over two cards. Scrounger and the Evolving Wilds. Now Voss will draw. Picked up an Evolving Wilds for the turn. Also has a copy of Prize Amalgam in him. Going to activate the timepiece yet again. Haunted Dead and Elder Deep Fiend. Oh, Haunted Dead's a huge hit there. Yep. Can get that back on the cheap. Discard the prize amalgam. This actually, I think, going to be a pretty good turn. Yep. Just got to make sure he can do everything that he wants to do. Yep, return Haunted Dead. Got to discard two cards to do it, of course. So one will be amalgam, as you did mention. The second one is going to be another copy of Haunted Dead. And now, I think we might see Wretched Griff. 
Yep. That'll come in. There'll be a trigger. Kozak's return will be recast. And these are some of the problems you did talk about. Yep. I mean, Kepke's death. This is about as fast of a draw as Kepke's get, Kepke's get can really generate as mm -hmm. well. We've also also draw a card from the Wretched Griff, and now we head back Devin's way. He's going to draw a Selfless Spirit, which is not great right now. So all I can do is play that and pass the turn back. That was going to be the protection around the Kozlex return. But it's a turn too late. Here comes Wretched Griff for three in the air. Kepke's going to fall down to 17. The follow-up here for Voss. We'll see if there is one. Timepiece doing some work here. Oh, yeah. They're turning over that Haunted Dead, I mean, that was just... Enormous. Mm -hmm. Here's the Paula. See, Voss is separating the graveyard here. So let's know what he has down there. Scrapping Scrounger, Prize Amalgam, Haunted Dead. Looks like he's going to return Haunted Dead. So that means he's going to discard a Haunted Dead and a Scrounger. He'll get a token. There should be an Amalgam Trigger. We'll also see him sacrifice a clue to draw a card. And now the Amalgam will come back. Time to untap here for Zach. He'll draw as he's starting to build on his advantage now. Behind on life totals, but that is about it. He's got another Rush Griff and another Kozilek's return in hand. Well, that makes it hard to win for Devin. Here come the beatdowns. Six damage will be dealt. Kepke going to fall down to 11. Now there's a Wretched Griff. Draw one. And the two mana left over to rebuy again. Yeah, just kind of doing his thing. Gepke with a Mountain and a Harness Lightning. He'll play the Mountain. But the fact that Retrogriff actually has Fort Toughness obviously playing a big role in things. And Kepke just having a hard time getting through. Here he comes with the Paula. The trigger. I think Devin might be thinking, I got to pay some mana and, yeah, try to find some real cards here. To find help. Top five cards. Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Another copy of Depala. The rest of these things will go to the bottom in a random order. So away they go. I think we might see the block here with the retrogriff, yep. So Selfless Spirit will make Depala indestructible. And now in a timepiece activation here from Zach. This will be heading back his way in just a moment. I think Zach might just be able to simply get back the Scrounger here. I mean, it's the same amount of power in play as getting back the... Haunted Dead? Yeah. yeah. But with Kepke at 11, I think we're looking at just a lethal on the crackback. Yeah. Yeah. So Elder Deep Fiend down. Time to untap. Time for Voss to draw. Yep, and Kepke knows he's beat. So Zach Voss going to win game number one here over Devin Kepke. Grixis emerge up a game here over White Red Vehicles, and you you kind of felt this is how it was going to go. Yeah, I, th I think Kepke's deck is, you know, a little bit on the mid rangey side as far as the vehicle archetype goes. I'm sure having the Sky Sovereign has been excellent in the mirror match and similar matchups, but here having a slightly bigger, slightly slower build is, is not what the doctor ordered, as you see. Once Voss got his shop set up there, but Kepke was essentially locked out of the game. We'll take a look at the sideboards here. And we'll see that Devin Kepke with him on the play here for game number two. Two, oh, excuse me, four Gideon allies and a car, three Weaver of Lightning, three Galvanic Bombardment, two Fragmentize, and three Skywhaler shots. Seen the sideboard a couple times this week from Team Card Hoarder. What do you like? Very little. Um, the four Gideons can probably come in if he feels like that's better than having some of the slower cards like the Sky Sovereign. But uh, nothing else here lines up very well for the matchup. On the other side of things here for Zach, it's three Collective Brutality, three Invasive Surgery, two Distended Mindbender, 
two lightning acts, two Liliana last hope, two summer dismissal, and another copy. And you know this is coming in of Kozilek's return. Definitely the Kozilek's return and the two copies of lightning acts I think are stars in this matchup. I could see the three copies of collective brutality coming in as well just for a little bit of earlier removal, but Kepi's creatures can outsize collective brutality pretty easily, so I'm not 100% sure it's coming in. No doubt about the Kozilek's return and the two lightning axes though. All right, all right. Well, these players will get ready here for game number two. You see Devin give out a little Ric Flair woo there as they are announcing the top eight of one of our classics right now. Looks like one of the members of Team Card Hoarder did well yet again. But for now, we talked about the StarCityGames.com weekly sales. It's going to end tomorrow morning at 10.59 a.m. East Coast time. So not a lot of time left to save on select full art basic land. Less than 24 hours, so you want to make sure you head over to the website at StarCityGames.com every week, Monday, 11 o'clock Eastern time. A new sale goes up, so make sure to be checking back to the website once a week. Right now, sale on full art basic land, Zendikar basics, unlands, judge promos, what have you, on sale now, but less than a day. So if you want to get on board with the sale, head over to the website now and make sure to be checking back once a week to see what the new sale is. Well, we're going to learn a little bit more about the hooded man there, Devin Kepke, a player who finally did get his first SEG Tour Open win earlier this year. We know he likes to have a good time. He's a youngster from right around the St. Louis area. That's Oakville, Illinois, I believe is the way that it's pronounced. He just says he's from St. Louis. I think mm -hmm. it's easier that way. Uh, the 24-year-old with three open top eights, one win earlier this year. He got the job done in Columbus. Didn't have internet until he was 21. We'll take on all comers in arm wrestling. I have witnessed this personally. Yep. Uh, undefeated, yep. I believe, and owns a donkey named Waldo. Okay. Yeah. Those three, those three facts definitely paint a picture about Oakville, Illinois. <laughs> they do their own thing there. <laughs> right. They run their own show. Yeah. Some, look, man, you want to own a donkey, you can own a donkey. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. Yep. And that's no slight. I, I grew up in a pretty, a pretty rural spot. Yeah, did you have horses? Uh, my uh, members of my extended family had horses. Okay. If you're curious, you can go to the Wikipedia page when you have a moment of Flagtown, New Jersey. Flagtown. One word. Spelt. spelt Just like a flag. Okay. Yep. And you can kind of get a sense of it. Get a good look. Flag. No, no post, uh, no mailboxes. Uh, one of the things that actually came up when I, when I typed in Flagtown, it said Flagtown Post Office. Yeah. That's the, one of the first things that came up. Well, you can find out about the Wikipedia page why that's significant. This is interesting. Flagtown is an unincorporated community. Okay. Yeah, located. That means it's lawless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's no laws. <laughs> located within Hillsborough Township in Somerset County, New Jersey, United States. Yep. That's where you're from. Yes. Okay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay out. You guys have a nice sign. You're welcome sign. Uh, that sign was actually paid for, I believe, by my grandfather. And that is nailed down on the street where I grew up. Because there's really only a couple handful of streets, so you know whatever. Sure. So it's got to be on some street. Yeah. Okay. Flagtown, USA, New Jersey zone. Yes. That's you. The the highlight of the page. There's a lot of hilarious stuff going on. Okay. The notable residents page is the cherry on top. No, okay. Now I'm gonna take a look at this. Hold on a minute. My dream one day is to be the second person. Okay. Notable people. <laughs> I'm gonna let you read this. So I don't screw this up. Emmanuel Ninja counterfeiter in the late 1880s. <laughs> that's that's number one. That's that that's it. Oh, that, <laughs> that is that is that, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> A counterfeiter from the 1800s. We can get you in there. Nah. You know that notable people. Nah. Notable notable curmudgeon. Nah. <laughs> and banner of Twitch usernames. Patrick yes. Sullivan. Kepke going to play a Smuggler's Copter here on turn number two. Always a great start in this particular format, as I think many have learned this weekend. Smoldering Marsh to start there for Zach Voss. Looks like he may have a copy of Evolving Wilds here for land number two. He will play a Wilds, so and we'll head back Kepke's way. Kepke will draw. He'll play a Needle Spires. Does he have a creature to play? I don't think so. Yep, Voss is going to sacrifice his Evolving Wilds while he does that. Digs land out of his deck and shuffles. A couple updates here. Abe Schnocky with Green Black Delirium. He's up a game right now over Mike Kenny and his White Red Aggro deck. And then for Chris Van Meter with White Red Vehicles, he's in the mirror against teammate Jacob Ball, and CVM is currently up a game. Well, we do have updates for you on Donovan Lashney. 
against Jacob Hagen. That's White Red Humans against Red Black Aggro. The one versus the eight, of course, we will let you know. But for now, we watch Zach Voss play a Spire Bluff Canal. And the big follow-up. It'll be something here. Just got to figure out how he wants to tap for it. Scrounger. Pass that turn back. Over to Kepke will go. Can he find a creature to put into the copter? It looks like the answer is yes there in Thraven Inspector. So here is the Inspector. Clue on the way. Going to get into the copter. Oops. Lightning Axe going to take care of the copter. And Haunted Dead goes to the graveyard. Good place for that. <sighs> right, you felt like uh, Lightning Axe would be a pretty good one here. Oh, yeah. Great sideboard card for this matchup. Plenty of good cards to discard. That's for sure. Beatdowns. These two games so far have felt pretty grim from Kepke's side of the table. Yeah, they really have. Can't clock fast enough before Voss gets all the pieces locked up. Kozlak's Return is one of the better cards in this format. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for a good Kozlak's Return deck, this Grixis Emerge deck might just be it. Oh, I, I think this is the coolest deck that we have in the top eight, mm -hmm. just because there's a, a blend of a lot of different strategies going on here. Looks like Kepke lost one. He found it. It's a mountain. Kepke's hand has at least one Skywheeler shot. I think maybe two, and then two lands, so not a lot going on here. Hey, I'm not a huge fan of, of trying to go down that road. I, I guess he just needs answers for Elder Deep Fiend. That's fine, but uh, I don't know how much there is to be gained by him being really reactive in this matchup. Time is not on his side. Yeah, Kepke could have that turn activated Needle Spires and maybe walked into something horrible like a Kozlek's return. So instead, just going to attack with the Thraven Inspector. The discards will take place here off of Haunted Dead. And now the Price Amalgam will come back. A bit of a combo there. That is a combo. By anyone's definition. Yes, absolutely. I know mine is more liberal than most. Yeah. Here come the beatdowns. It's three. It's a Skywheeler shot, so hold on just a moment. A uh, little scry here. Yep. This feels like a spot where Kepke is going to scry every card in his deck to the bottom. <laughs> That's, not <laughs> That's not it. That's not it either. Maybe the boat's okay. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's true. Look, if the boat's not good here, right? he's getting beat up. He needs to kill some of the stuff. He's going to take six, going to fall down to 11. A lot of the draws are bad. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but I think the boat could be okay. Wretched Griff. Draw a card. Kozlex return the draw. Things are getting harder. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Zach Voss got a nice little deck here. We're headed back to Evan Kepke's way. Sky, <laughs> Sky Whaler's shot on Prize Amalgam is a good summary of these two games. <laughs> <laughs> Sums it up. Kepke with a smuggler's copter. Does sum it up pretty well, I think. No argument there. On and dead, coming on back. Kozak's return, insolent neonate. We'll bite the dust. There'll be a trigger for the amalgam. Amalgam's going to come uh, back for Zach. It's time to untap. And that means it's time to draw. Scrap heap scrounge with a draw. We have a clean cut. This deck is In first place, relatively re I mean, th this is This has been end to end. Yeah, not even close to losing. Collective brutality now. Discard scrap heap scrounge, a good place for that. Kill that, potentially, yes. Response. Got it. Yep. Scry. Bottom. Got to crew the copter as well. Beatdowns. A little bit of block going to be done here. In seventh place with 19 points. But now even I believe and that the boat may not be good enough. May not, may not be good yes. times. Now, now I'm now Sky, I'm on Even board. Sky Sovereign can't get him out of this mess. That's correct. <laughs> That's where I'm at now. The biggest of boats. Copter going to block Haunted Dead. Never a good feeling. Kepke will draw. 
And that is going to do it. Zach Voss going to win this match against Evan Kepke. Two games to zero in very dominating fashion. Grixis Emerge destroys white red vehicles. And I know there are a lot of white red decks in the top eight. I don't think they want to see this on the other side of the table. Kepke got about his... Oh, not quite his best draw, but pretty close to it on the play game one and wasn't good enough. And then game two, mulliganed, never really got off the ground, way too slow. Um, yeah, this matchup seemed really rough. I think 